Today I'm going to show you how to make a rosary loop. We can use the rosary loop to connect them, to connect the beads to each other. So you can make necklaces, bracelet, earrings, and rosaries with the rosary loop. In this case, I'll be making a six inch bracelet and I have figured that I would need about eight of the six millimeter glass pearl. So what we need for this project are the six millimeter pearls, an inch of the eye pin. The eye pin already has this loop, so this is the eye and you just need to make a loop on the other end. And your tools would be the flush cutter, chain nose pliers, and the round nose pliers. So now to make the loop, you need to put in the bead like this. You need to bend the eye pin away from you at a 90 degree angle like so. So now you have this. Now in this case I would like to leave about 5 sixteenths of an inch so that's where I would want to cut. So if you want to be precise I would suggest that you would put it up against a measuring tape or a ruler. I would take my flush cutter and cut about right there, leaving 5 sixteenths of an inch. So now you have this much left. I would then take the round nose pliers. I'm going to share one tip with you so that your loops are going to be uniform each time, I would take a Sharpie and just put a mark to where I would want my loop to be so that you would have a uniform loop for all your beads. So now I would take the round nose plier and put it up against the bead like this so that you can feel that there isn't anything protruding here just a little bit and then you would bend it towards you like this. Now you couldn't go any further so you would reposition your pliers and again put it where you want where the mark is and continue bending. So now you have your loop. Make sure that they're straight. So I would take my, uh, my chain nose pliers and just kind of making sure that they are in the same direction. So I have already made several of these. I'm going to show you one more time on how to make uh, the loop. Put your bead in, bend it at a 90 degree angle, and then put it against your measuring tape and cut, leaving about a little bit over a quarter of an inch or 5 sixteenths of an inch. I would take my round nose pliers and make sure that you have very little showing on the other side like this. You can feel it with your thumb and then bend it towards you like this. I would reposition the pliers and then continue bending it until you have formed the loop. 
So I would then take my chain nose pliers and just kind of straighten it out a little bit, make sure they are in the same position. So there's your loop. And now I will show you how to connect the beads. Now, it is very important that when you open the loop, it's closed right now, that you, you need to do it the right way. You would take your chain nose pliers and you would hold it where you have the opening right here and bend it towards you and open it towards you like so. Okay? That's the right way. Now the wrong way would be to take this and open it like this. That is not the right way to do it because eventually your, your wire would become weak and would eventually break. So now to finish the project, we would need to chain those pliers to open the loops and to connect the beads to each other. So, like I said, you would open it like this and then you would connect it with the other beads and then you will close it the same way. Now you have to make sure that it's closed, otherwise it can break. And uh, in this one, I already connected two beads. I just need to open this loop and connect the rest of the beads. I just need to open it wider sometimes. It doesn't go through. It's not that wide. And then you have, we have three more beads to connect left like this and this bracelet should be six and a half you need to give allowance for your clasp about an inch allowance so it's always good to try it on and make sure that it's the right size for your wrist so I am connecting the last bead and I should have about six inches, six inches here. Uh, this is one is not straight. Okay, just need to straighten it a little bit. So now I have my uh, bracelet. I just need to connect the clasp. For this project, I decide to use. A magnetic clasp. So I already put uh, the four millimeter jump ring on its side. So now all I have to do is just open the loop on the last bead of the bracelet and connect the clasp to it. I need to open it a little bit wider. So like so and then close it. The ma magnet always tries to stick to your other metal. Okay, and then the last bead to connect to the clasp. And there you have your bracelet. Um, Valentine's Day is just around the corner, so I would like to add to my bracelet a little heart charm. You just need to put uh, a jump ring on, on the charm, and you can connect it maybe here in the middle and close it. The jump ring, op you can open the jump ring and close it the same way as you do the, the loops. So now I have my finished 
bracelet with the heart charm. And I like using the magnetic clasp because it's easy on, easy off. And there's my finished bracelet.